everyone, Biscuit again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 1100 Full Mechanics Barbatos Lupus. Uh, the Barbatos Lupus is the main character's Gundam from the. Mo no, oh my god, I'm sorry. From the main. Oh, from the series Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. There we go, I can finally talk again. And this was the main character, Mikazuki's mobile suit, during the first half of the second season. Sorry for spoilers, if that happened to anybody. Um, and yeah, uh, this thing is not a master grade, um, but it is in 1-100 scale. It's technically a no grade, uh, however, it's slapped with, uh, a new full mechanics thing, which they started implementing, uh, with the new... Calamity Gundam, which I'm excited to see how that turns out. Um, this kit itself is not horrible. However, it does have some uh, issues holding it back. Um, and yeah, we'll get right into it. Let's start off with the accessories. I lied, we're going to be doing the aesthetics first. Uh, so this thing's overall looks actually is really good. I'm s really digging the uh, heavy panel line surfaces. I panel lined, I'm pretty sure, all of what I could. And yeah, there is a lot to take in. Uh, some people might think it looks a little too messy. Uh, I don't have that issue with this at all. Um, but if that does bother you, then you can quite literally just not panel line some stuff, and it won't show up all that bad. Um, all the colors are very striking and very nice. Uh, they're, even the eyes. The eyes are separate pieces of plastic, which is super nice. However, with them not being stickers or even metallic or even all that glossy, they do get kind of lost in the brow of his giant V-fin. Um, as for the stickers you get, you do get... Ooh, let's see if I can find the sticker sheet. There it is. These are all the stickers that you get. Now, this looks intimidating at first, but I promise you... You legit only need these... What is it? A six? Yeah, six. I learned how to count. Yay. Uh, all of these other stuff you do not need. Uh, all of the gold here is going to go on the inner frame. Absolutely none of it is going to show in mobile suit mode. So you do not need to worry about that. Uh, five, No, eight and nine right here, the yellow ones, are for on the sides of the shoulders. Uh, is a little bit of a shame we don't get them as plastic. Um, but that's not too bad, because the high-grade Barbatos Lupus doesn't even give you a sticker for them at all. So, that's pretty nice that you get it. And you get these two stickers, which are ten. Uh, and those go right here on the knees. As for painting you are going to have to do, you don't actually need to do any painting, uh, on this thing. All the color and details are count. Okay, no, you do have to do some painting. I lied, haha. <laughs> Uh, on the tips of the fingers, those, the claws of the fingers, I guess, those are supposed to be white. Um, so yeah, good luck trying to paint those. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's really it, uh, that you need for this guy. Uh, super color accurate, looks really good, and, uh, yeah, let's move on to whatever else. So, first of the accessories is this absolutely giant sword mace. This has got to be one of my favorite Gundam weapons, and this is huge. I'm going to bring a gun, 1-144 scale gun cannon that I have. Gun cannon? Yeah, that's his name. A gun cannon. First of all, the Barbatos Lupus is way bigger than it. And second of all, that's its weapon. It does, Here, let's see if I can... That's its weapon compared to it. That is absolutely massive. Uh, it's a really nice weapon, um, I don't know what else to say. In order to attach it, you can, uh, well, first of all, you need to split the fingers off the hands, and as you can see, there's a little tab right here, and there's a tab right here. You can, uh, plug it into the hand, uh, you can plug it into either one of the fists, and that gives it a very nice, secure grip. Let's put it in there, there we go. And reattach the fingers. And ooh. Yeah, it's a little loose in there. This is also plastic rubbing against plastic. Uh, so this may wear out the hands over time. So you may want to be careful of that. Pop that back in, and there we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, it can actually hold it super well. Um, however, this, uh, joint right here, that joint that this plugs into can get a bit loose, um, and it'll cause the arms to droop down, so be careful of this. 
since this is sandwiched together, what you can do is you can coat uh, that whole seam in cement, hold it together uh, for as long as you can, um, and that should uh, fix the looseness problem. Or you can uh, just kind of paint some super glue on the joint here uh, and pop it back in. Do not put too much though, and oh no. I repeat, do not put too much, because that will ruin this joint. So we'll toss that to the side really quick. Um, another accessory that you get, well, a pair of, you get two of these guns, which are really cool. Uh, these attach into the back of the arms by a simple peg. There, ooh, I can't, there we go. By a simple peg, they can swing around and pull up to be stored, or they can go out for when they're firing. So that's pretty neat that they managed to incorporate that whole gimmick. And yeah, you do get two. Oh, that's the wrong piece. And yeah, you do get two of them, which is pretty nice. Uh, you also get a pair of these open hands that are pretty standard from what I've heard uh, with uh, the 1-100 full mechanics line. They're not too expressive. They're kind of just you know, there. Uh, and the last accessory, not so much an accessory as it is an extra part, is this. Uh, this is supposed to go onto the head when you just have the inner frame on, but I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Uh, so now that that's all out of the way, let's move on to the... Ba -ba -da -ba -dum, let me think... Articulation. Yeah, that's the word. All right. Uh, and as always, we're going to be doing this from the head down. So the head is on a polycap ball joint, so it can move all the way around, can look up uh, kind of far, and look down pretty far, um, side to side not too much, and will turn all the way around no problem at all. Uh, these parts, let's take off the arm for a second. This is connected to a ball joint, so that can turn around. This is what moves the shoulder. The shoulder itself is on two... yeah, two... Um, I don't know what to call them, clip joints, I guess. Uh, they can move around, they can move the shoulder up and down to get out of arm movement. The arms are on pegs, and they will rotate all the way around until they clash into this, which is why you get a ball joint here, so it can go all the way around however much you want it to. Uh, you have a full swivel up here, a single jointed band, however, that gets you just about everything that you would need. That is perfect. And hands are attached to a polycap so on ball joints, so they just rotate around. Uh, the chest, you get a pretty deep... No, actually, that's a really good crunch. Uh, it goes back all the way until it gets... Uh, this backpack gets it blocked. Let's try to remove that, see if I can get any more. Yeah, you can get a little more if you remove the backpack. And side to side... Let me actually get you in on this action. The pistons move... And tangent with the side to side and off, so that's pretty cool. Uh, at ooh, as you just saw, if I can get this on, there we go. Uh, there's also a ball joint, so this can swivel around until it gets undone. There we go. It can swivel around, but it will clash just a bit. Um, the front skirts are on ball joints, so they can move up and off. Uh, the side skirts are on rotating pegs, and the butt flap is paralyzed. So, the legs can move. Let's get this up and off. No. Get this up. Oh my god, okay. Get this up about that far. That's how far the legs will go up. And backwards, yeah, not that far at all. That's as far back as the leg is going to go. These can move up about that far which can make room for the splits, and they can come off. All right. Uh, this joint up here, this little clip, is not the strongest, so uh, it's strong in the sense where it'll hold uh, a pose, so if you put it up like that, it'll stay, but it's not connected on all that well, so you will want to be careful. Um, you have a full swivel up here. However, uh, the armor could clash, with going to the side, so it can really only go out about that far and in about that far. You have uh, some shifting hip action going on. There we go. And as for the bend at the knee, it's it's not all that impressive, and it kind of looks a little ugly in there. Um, that's really all you're going to get. However, uh, if you do remove this piece right here, there we go. Um, 
the articulation on the leg significantly increases. There you go. Ooh, that fell off the table. <laughs> and there you go. From now on, whatever just kind of pops off, I'm going to leave off. So yes, if you remove uh, this piece off of the back of the leg, you get more articulation out of that. Uh, the foot is on a rotating peg. No, yeah, it's on a peg connected to a little circular thing, so it can move up that far and back that far. It will also pivot all the way until right there, uh, about, yep. It can, that's how far it can pivot, which is pretty good, I think. And foot can move up, no, down, uh, up, not that far, because this clashes with this. And off, uh, it, this is connected by a polycap, so it is a little loose. And, okay. And this armor is, uh, ooh, it can move, uh, oh, and off. Yeah, glue these kit, glue this kit anyway. The armor doesn't like to stay on. You can pull this up uh, so you can get some more dynamic motion. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it for the articulation. I didn't skim over anything. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, is, oh no, oh no, we still have. We're not do, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We still have the backpack. The backpack. Uh, this part can move up and down. Uh, this clip you get actually can hold the mace. You get two of them, but you only need the one. And, uh, you do get some little, uh, struts here. However, I have not figured out how to attach these at all, so I'm not even gonna try. I'm sorry, I, I have no clue how to attach these. But yeah, now, that is it for the review. Uh, the, the overall thing itself is not bad. It's just a little loose in some areas, which can easily be fixed. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for my next review, and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.